we're not doing a lesson on iPods, we're doing a lesson on tsunamis. So we're looking at how they've affected um, Japan on Google Earth. So because it's focused on what it is we're trying to learn and not on the tool helping us learn it, I think that's why they're so engaged. Um, my name's Joanna sanders Bobbyash. I'm a half-time teacher librarian and half-time uh, specialist at Wilfrid Walker School in Regina. Uh, the studio model um, is a model where the teacher kind of models what the students will be working on and some of the things of, to show them what it kind of looks like and then the students develop around that uh, kind of based on the inquiry model where they ask themselves questions about different issues um, surrounding the topic that we're studying and then they kind of decide what they would like to learn more about or what they think other people should know more about after they've informed themselves. So then they spend a lot of time developing individual projects either themselves or as a group to learn more about it and then after that they present and share the information with the class and depending on the model outside the classroom as well. Um, but it's based on, we, we spend a lot of time at the beginning of the year looking at multiple intelligences and discussing how do we learn, what kind of learner am I, um, how do I learn best, so that you really get the best out of the students throughout the year, because they're really drawing, they reflect upon that throughout the whole year um, as they're learning. They say, what did I do, how did I learn it, how can I do better next time, or what do I need to do next? And it's really evolved as a model in our school over the last two years. Student Council at our school has decided to take up uh, the uh, disaster in Japan as an important issue to them. They've been fundraising money and we thought that students felt the need to learn more about the situation in Japan and what actually happened and, and uh, some of the ramifications that might affect them. They're comparing themselves as Canadians to what happened in Japan, trying to decide could that happen here because um, a lot of them were scared after it happened. So right now they're developing a website to inform the other students in the school about the different aspects of the disaster. So some students are working on a geographical profile of Japan, others are focusing on how a tsunami is formed, others are talking about how earthquakes are formed, um, others are talking about what different government agencies are doing um, to help the people recover from the disaster. Well, I think students, because they have a lot of choice in my classroom, they try and pick things that they're passionate about. And so, because they're passionate about it, the other kids really pick up on that and ask them more questions and want to know more about it. And because of that passion, they really want to share and interact and teach each other about the things that they care about. I'm guessing it would have been a more traditional cut and paste approach. Um, we still use books for different projects because um, they're still really valuable resources, um, but we might not have has, had as much access to the internet. So we might have had a research period, writing it out by hand, doing something like that as opposed to creating something that's really rich and, and um, media focused, like media rich project.